Hi, my name is Carrie Vogel and I am with McLean County Ag in the Classroom. Ag in the Classroom is a program that provides free resources for teachers all over the state of Illinois to help them incorporate agriculture lessons into their classroom curriculum. Uh, we work with lots of different partners, including Illinois Corn, and there are coordinators all over the state of Illinois, so you can find the one that is in your county. We know it's back to school time and as the kids have headed back to the classrooms, we wanted to partner with Illinois Corn today to give you an idea of a fun activity you can do either in the classroom or at home. Today we're going to make corn plastic. For this activity, you'll need cornstarch, measuring spoons, corn oil, water, a medicine dropper, food coloring, a microwave, and a sandwich size resealable plastic bag. So I have gathered and pre-measured my ingredients. Again, we've got cornstarch, we have some corn oil, some water, and also some food coloring. We're going to see if we can mix these together and make some corn plastic. To we'll start out with a tablespoon of cornstarch in our resealable plastic bag. Then we'll add two drops of corn oil to the cornstarch. and one and a half tablespoons of water to that mixture. And then we're just gonna take a spoon and stir it up. After that's pretty well mixed together, we will take some food coloring. At this point, you will seal your bag and put this into the microwave for 20 to 25 seconds on high. So this is what the bag looks like when we took it out of the microwave. It is pretty hot, so we'll want an adult to make sure and do that part of it. Um, we're gonna let this cool for just a little bit, but you can start to look and see what that plastic looks like in the bottom of the bag. So now our plastic has cooled down just a little bit and we can kind of manipulate it here. So a couple of questions. What do you notice about your biodegradable plastic? What could you make with it if you let it harden a little bit more? And what happens to it if we try to make it into a ball or do something like that? Lots of fun things we can do. It's a great hands-on activity and we hope that you'll try it at home.